And today, hundreds of UC Davis students are going to be moving into dorm rooms and they are getting ready to start the fall term, most of them doing distance learning. Yeah, but unlike Sacramento State students, they will get a chance to actually stay in the dorms. Leticia Ordaz uh, uh, is on this story and filed this report for us. We're talking about 1,600 students that are now staying in the dorms compared to 6,000 before the pandemic. The big change this year is no one can have a roommate. Students we spoke with are very excited to have their own room. We did, in fact, catch up with some students moving in yesterday, as you see in the video. Uh, they will continue to move in through tomorrow. As soon as they arrive on campus with their belongings, they have to walk to a nearby parking structure for COVID testing. The students are getting two tests. One is the nasal swab test, and UC Davis officials say each person is also getting the saliva test, which produces results in 24 hours. That is still in its testing phase here on campus. The students are required to wear masks, wash their hands frequently, and do a daily assessment of their health. Uh, they have to take their food to go in dining commons and are being told not to congregate in large groups. Not following the rules can lead to big consequences, but many students say they're not worried. I think we have a very educational and interactive process, so we'll at least make sure that they are aware of the policy and are adhering to it. If they have challenges with that or are choosing not to adhere to that, then we will probably uh, engage them in a process where um, we will find alternatives for them or they'll have to choose to go home at that point. It's really nice. I really was not expecting the campus to be this gorgeous and the people to be this friendly, but I actually feel like I belong, so I'm really happy about that. It'll be a little bit different because I'll be limited to the amount of interactions I'll have, but I'll still manage at least. Majority of the 40,000 students will be taking those classes online.